hoping to take you to the cleaners. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephanie Gorin. And I'm George Mallet. Greer's Professional Fabric Air Services has a number of dry cleaning locations all across Chittenden County. Customers received letters saying the company's been hacked and their accounts may have been compromised. The letter reads, our server breached and some credit card numbers stolen. It appears that the card numbers and customer names were breached, but no social security or addresses were acquired. WPTZ's Rachel Cars is live in the newsroom with this report. New tonight. Disturbing, Rachel. Yeah, George, the company sent this letter telling its customers who have used the card at one of the locations between April 1st and January 16th, they may have been affected by the breach. They say no social security numbers or addresses were stolen. Customers taking their clothes to Greer's to be dry cleaned are getting a little more than they bargained for. The company sent out letters this week saying its system was breached, credit card numbers, and customer names stolen. With small organizations, they typically don't have a full time security staff or have the people to hire to implement strong security con controls themselves. But even large corporations get hit by the same issue, and they may have full time. Uh, security staff that may have a full team or a third party doing that security for them. Dwayne Dunstan is an information technology and sciences professor at Champlain College. He says it doesn't matter how big an organization is, for hackers, it's all about the information. Don't get stuck on, I'm just a one person shop. <laughs> I'm just a small mom and pop shop. If they're, you know, you've been in business 15 years, you're storing credit cards, that's a lot of credit cards over the years that's stored waiting to, for someone to get access to. In the letter, Greer's encourages customers to check statements and monitor their credit reports and report suspicious activity. But when we asked for more information on the breach, the general manager refused to comment. Attorney General Bill Sorrell says this attack is a sign of the times. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, Home Depot or Walmart or a mom and pop store down the street that's been hacked. It's your credit card number, your, your bank account, your checking account number that, that they want. Dunstan says if you find something wrong, you shouldn't feel helpless. If you find your credit card has been used and it can tie it back to this compromise here, then potentially you could take out some legal action against them. Now, Vermont's Attorney General says the state has one of the most protective laws in the country on these kinds of problems, and companies have up to 15 days to report a suspected breach. In the newsroom tonight, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5. Thanks, Rachel. In New